Hey Jogger peeps, so I want to give you a little quick update. The National Tourism Board of Greenland saw my top 10 uh, travel destination video and uh, they liked it and we got in contact and they want to send me to Greenland. So I'm going to be leaving soon and I'm so excited. You guys know this is my number one travel destination. I'm going to be traveling with my good friend Jason. He's going to be my cameraman. He's the guy who actually taught me how to do motion graphics. Super talented guy. And if you want to keep up with what we're doing, he's going to be doing daily vlogs on his channel. So check it out. But yeah, I'm super excited. We have a lot of things planned. Also, I'm going to stop in Iceland for like two days, so I'm going to meet up with some of you Icelandic geography peeps. Also, I want you guys to take part in the adventure. If you guys have any questions for the native Greenlandic people, write them in the comments and I'll maybe select a few of them and I'll ask the native people and I'll give you credit for your questions too. You have no idea how happy this makes me. I've no oh, I've been dreaming about this for like 10 years. So thank you National Tourism Board of Greenland. On another side note, as you guys know, I opened up a public mailbox and since then, oh, quite a few of you guys have sent some stuff. I'm surprised. Here, let me show you. So these are the packages and stuff that you guys have sent. So before I show you guys what's inside the packages, I want to say some of the packages were not delivered right away because you guys wrote Geography Now and technically Geography Now is not registered with the US government as a company yet. So um, they're kind of not allowed to directly deliver it to me. So if you guys want to send anything, please feel free to send it to the regular address, uh, 1905 North Wilcox Avenue, number 432, uh, Los Angeles, California, 90068, USA. But just don't put Geography Now on top. <laughs> like, I know it's, it's weird, that's the name of the channel, but you can't do that because it's not a registered company. Just put like my name, Paul or Paul B at the top. So anyway, I got this letter from David from Serbia. He, thank you so much, David. He sent all of these banknotes, Iran, Czech Republic, or Czechia, and I know you guys hate that. Hungary, Romania, Turkey, and uh, Macedonia, <coughs> Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Macedonia, don't hate me, just choose whatever one you want. Oh, look, it has a little peacock at the back too. David says he's been subscribed since the Andorra episode. Thank you so much. Much, David. I'm really glad that you've been consistently watching Jaguar now. Jacob M. from Dartmouth, Massachusetts sends this really cool old style 50 yen banknote. Let me see if I can focus in on it for you guys. Man, this camera lens sucks. Anyway, he sends this really old style 50 yen banknote. Uh, it took me a while to figure out where it was from, but if you could see, there's a Shinto shrine and the imperial symbol right up here. It's a dead giveaway that it's from Japan. And finally, the last person to send some kind of international currency was Oscar from Norway. He sent an old 10 kroner Norwegian banknote. It was used between 1972 and 1984. On one side of the banknote, you can see the image of Fridtjof Nansen. Did I pronounce that right? The guy who won the Nobel Peace Prize and was the first man to reach the North Pole. And also, check this out. Dude, he put a wax seal on his envelope and on his letter. I've never gotten anything with a wax seal. This is the coolest letter I've ever gotten. Thank you so much, Oscar. Nicole S., who lives in Laos, sent this really cool medallion. It's actually made out of the discarded pieces of minefields that were taken out of the ground from Laos. I like this. It's a really cool medallion. Now, this is really cool. I got a postcard, Ahmed, from Western Sahara. He currently lives in Fez, Morocco, but he grew up and was, I guess, born and raised in uh, Western Sahara. Which I don't know if you can see right here at the top, he actually wrote in Berber. Oh man, Western Sahara. That was on my honorable mentions list. Oh, oh I'm gonna have to consider it. Now let's get to the packages. This one was sent from Yanni in Israel, I believe, Jerusalem? Yeah, Jerusalem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. These are like Hebrew cheese puffs. <laughs> I'm going to try them right now. Oh, it's not cheese. What flavor is this? Oh, this is like peanut flavored. Oh, that's that's interesting. I like this. Wow, that's good. Peanut flavored puffs from Israel. All right, this one's from Libertas. I think I pronounced that right. Libertas from Lithuania. Ooh, I love the Baltic. The tape. What do we got here? Wow, there's a lot of things in here, I think. <laughs> More snacks. Look at that, all these snacks. Lithuanian chocolate with crispy flakes. Very berry, a chocolate bar in the shape of Lithuania. A little rubber ba bracelet that says uh, Lithuania in Lithuanian. Check it out. Lithuania. Of course, a Lithuanian flag. Ah, uh, you guys can't really see it. My camera doesn't focus when I get too close, but this is a one euro cent, but with the Lithuania uh, emblem. And it's like in a little encased frame in the shape of Lithuania. Oh, and this this is the best thing he sent homemade Lithuanian cookies Okay, I'm gonna try my first chalk in chalk in chalk on Good stuff now I really 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 don't want to break this apart because it's gonna look so beautiful I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, I don't know if you guys could see but it's like a shape of Lithuania in chocolate Oh, I want to eat this so bad, but it's too beautiful, but it's chocolate. Therefore the rules of chocolate apply chocolate is meant to be eaten 
Ooh, it's dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. You Lithuanians know how to make chocolate really good. Man, you guys are gonna get me fat. Seriously though, thank you guys so much for all these packages. I love reviewing the stuff that you guys sent me. It's nighttime, it's right, it's kind of dark right now. That's why it's really dark. I'm excited to go to Greenland. I will keep you guys posted. I'm still wearing your stuff, Libertas and Nicole. Hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you stay tuned with all the Greenlandic adventure stuff that's gonna happen. And new episodes are coming up soon. Oh shoot, I missed one. Um, this guy, uh, uh, he wrote his name in Cyrillic. Let's see if I can read it. Um, Amiran? Amiran? That's your name? Amiran? Amiran from Bulgaria. In this... Ooh, what do we got here? What is... Ooh, shoot. Oh, here's a coin. Oh, he sent a little Bulgarian coin. And what is this? Ah, a rose soap. Because remember how I said there was a lot of roses? Bulgaria was the number one producer of rose oil in the world. Oh, wow, it smells really good. A postcard with uh, Bulgaria and all the cool notable spots. Old Bulgarian currency. And of course, he sent a little... Bulgarian flag. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess that's officially the end of the video. All right, have a good one, guys. Stay cool, stay tuned.